So today in the shop, we got a 2013 Subaru Outback. Uh, I've been doing a lot of front end work on it, but the problem is a lot of the bolts are seized up in the subframe and through the bushings and everything like that. So me and the uh, owner kind of decided we're gonna not do the control arms because it's not completely necessary. So I'm gonna do the struts, uh, sway bar lengths, and inner and outer tie rods. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do the struts. Real easy, almost anybody can do it yourself. Um, so let's get right into it. So we're gonna start up here in the engine bay. There's three 12 millimeter bolts. What I like to do first is just loosen, take two of them completely off and leave one. Uh, probably the easiest one to reach from underneath. So I'm gonna leave this one right here just barely hanging on. Where it's finger loose. You can loosen it with your fingers. We're done up here for now. So in the wheel well here, uh, we have a 19 mil here, a 19 mil here, and then the matching heads on the back side for the nut. So I just put a wrench on the back sides and then an impact gun on this side, or you can use a ratchet, whatever you have. The top one has a washer, so I'm just gonna remember that and put it back on top. If they're a little stuck, all you gotta do is just gently tap them out with a hammer. And as you can see with this one right here, it's eccentric. So the bolt is a little oblong. So you will definitely need an alignment after you do this. You would have anyway, but especially because these bolts are eccentric bolts, you can adjust the camber with these bolts. So then basically you just pull back and this comes right out. So next step will be this bolt right here. Uh, it's not focusing on it, but you, know, you can get the point. 12 millimeter bolt right here. And then just getting this plastic clip off for this ABS sensor. Something I found that works pretty good for these is these uh, hose clamp pl or hose pliers. And you can pinch both sides of the plastic clip here at the same time. Pull it right out. Nice and easy. So now I'm just going to spin this other bolt out and should be free on everything down here. Same size bolt as up top, so nice and easy. If this breaks, it's not the end of the world. You can always uh, mount the brake line to it some other way, but... Hopefully this doesn't just break as soon as I hit it. Okay, it's a little tight, so I'm gonna run it back in and just keep working it back and forth. There we go. Didn't even break. Actually, right, so now you can see that this is just dangling in here. So that one bolt that we left on up top is what's holding it in right now. So I'm gonna reach up and undo that bolt and then lower this down out through the bottom. Make sure you don't get the wires caught. And there she comes. So now basically, we just insert the new one and do a reverse procedure. So I'll do that right now and get one started up top. All right, so now we're back up top. I reuse the factory bolt nuts um, because the ones that come with it are really chintzy and they're not like lock nuts. So I want to reuse the stock ones, they're usually better. So now I'm going to work these in evenly all the way around. These don't need to be super tight, but definitely make sure they're pretty snug. All right, so we're gonna take the one that goes on the bottom, so the non-eccentric bolt. I'm just gonna spin this, line those holes up best you can, and insert the bolt through from the back. Once you get started, you might need to give it a tap with a hammer. There you go, there's that one. So now we're gonna take the eccentric one and put it to the top. Now don't forget your washer on the top one. And then put the nuts back on. Reinsert this plastic clip right here into here. Now it looks like the uh, plastic actually broke. 
Right, so since this is broken, I'm going to just get a zip tie and put it around there just to hold it there. Um, in this case, it could happen to you as well. It's very common with these clips. That should be fine just like that. And then on the other side where this loop is, I'm gonna put that 12 mil bolt back in. Again, this one doesn't need to be super tight. That should be plenty. Now I'm just gonna run these two bolts in, or two nuts, my bad. These should definitely be tight. And that's it, you're done installing your strut. So as you can see, a pretty easy job. I'm pretty sure anybody that works on cars could do this job just fine. Make sure you definitely bring it to a shop right after you do both of them and make sure you get your car aligned. Otherwise it will definitely wear your tires. But anyway, that was a quick one today. Thanks for watching, subscribe and like if you wanna see more. See ya.